I think <coughs> the ubiquity U A P A C H D. Got my edge router twelve. Light right here. I don't know, it looks blue right now, but it's white. I don't know why it looks blue. Yeah, they're they're definitely different to hook up than the uh the normal old routers like this old net gear down here. It's an awkward spot. I gotta keep moving the phone around the pole. Got my cloud key right there. My PoE for the AP router. One thing about these edge routers that I think is pretty strange. All the all the plugs are in the front, like. So now you have to set them in awkward spots because you have a bunch of plugs just hanging out the front. It's kind of, I would rather the plugs be in the back. It's like, put the lights up here, the plugs in the back. Because once you plug them in, it's not like you're going to keep on plugging them. They put them in the front almost like it's easy access. But when you hook things like this up, you're, gonna, you're not going to unhook it and hook it up and all the time, you know. Plugs should be in the back. Be easy management. Now it's awkward. You got these big old Ethernet cords hanging out that can't really bent like that. So you almost need a whole table just for the router. So this is how I got it set up for now. I'm gonna end up changing it once I, I'm getting ready to start getting more phones now. But I got my computer laptop my tv i don't play the i don't play the ps4 so i don't even have that hooked up so i got my put my uh my main computer laptop tv cloud key which they only give you a small cord so now that forced me to have to set it like this and then the ap router and I got the internet and uh, the PoE part one. And I didn't know or think about it, but it's passive PoE. It won't power the uh, it won't power this right here, the cloud key. So I'm still using the Chili TV cord, but I'm gonna end up. I'm just gonna end up getting a, a PoE switch like this to power the cloud key. But yeah, I'm probably going to change the internet port to 8. I had it on 8 before, but I just, when I redid it, I left it on default, so I just left it on 9. On ETH, Ethernet port 9. But that's it. Got it hooked up. It's definitely, definitely, uh, it's definitely not plug and play. And I didn't even I didn't even use the cloud key to hook it up because I didn't have the internet. So when I first tried it, so I don't know I didn't I didn't have the internet hooked up. So I don't know if the cloud key would have actually worked if I had it hooked up this way. But you gotta hook it up to here for a static IP. Give your computer a static IP. Set this up. And that's pretty much it. A couple other things. Make switch it to the. Uh, back to the port but yeah now it's pretty easy I can do it like I can I could reset all these devices I can reset this the cloud key the AP and I could probably have them all back up and running in in five ten minutes and the reason why I take that long is because you just gotta log in and everything and 
with this you gotta set a couple of things but I had to open the NAT for my Call of Duty game so I had to give it some port forwarding uh, rules which actually it's it's pretty easy so I got that set up now yeah, I guess that's it this is I'm sorry man the phone's awkward but I'm not moving the router because I'd have to move all that stuff and nine I'm not doing it but I got set like that for now Yep, there it is, man. Everything up and running. Alright. Now, now I'm getting more phones. Now I'm saving to get more phones. It'd be like I could get a lot more phones faster than I could trying to save up to get this or especially the AP router. That thing was that thing was not cheap. This was not cheap. But that thing I definitely was not cheap. There it is there. Got the ubiquity. Uh, HD and the ubiquity edge router 12 didn't need the 12p because the only difference between the 12 and the 12p is you can have multiple PoE ports but they're not passive so everyone if you enable 24 volt it should power the the like a cloud key or power something. This on port nine, I can enable twenty four volt, but it doesn't even power the cloud key at all. The light nothing won't even go on it. So I didn't I didn't need the twelve the the twelve p. So I just got the regular twelve. Cause yeah, I don't need to have a bunch of PoE out. Plus it's just. <laughs> It's almost like a hundred dollars more. Well, I don't know if it's that much more, but it's definitely a lot more. All right, that's it. Just a little quick video on. I got it set up. I don't have my editing program installed, so I'm just gonna have to load this video. Without edit. All right, that's it. All good, all working. I'm probably gonna end up getting uh yeah I forgot one last thing. I'm probably gonna end up getting um a gateway because even though I have that the edge router I thought was gonna let a bunch of things access in this, but you need a gateway to really access this, like a lot of uh, the features inside here. So I want, you know, a bit good, you know, I want everything, all the technology or whatever, you know, I want everything in this to be used, you know, and to be able to be used. You can't use probably over half of the stuff in there because you need a USG. So I think I'm going to get a USG just so this thing is used to its full potential because with only half things running without a UG, this thing is probably only running at like 50% or something so you know you get a USG then everything else is enabled all other half the options are enabled so a USG should make this go 100% what this thing can do can do you know it can only do what it can do right now without the USG but I think the USG will I think it should run like a hundred times better should run way better just because all the options will be you know usable 
It's like having a stereo and no speaker. All right, that's it. This is a little short video. Got it working. Piece of cake. And nothing you can't do if you if you if you do the research. There's nothing you can't do. Might take a couple days to do the research, get to know things, and start to familiarize yourself with the uh, you know the settings and everything in it. But then once you do that. You start knowing that where everything is, and it could be set up in a matter of minutes instead of a day or something like that to figure out how to get them working. Alright, that's it.